Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will be solving a guesstimate question and the question is to estimate the number of airplanes in air right now. Yes, at this point of time, how many airplanes are flying? So let's get started. As usual, the first step is to understand the question and ask clarifying questions so that you have a clear understanding of what is being asked in an interview and you don't miss things. So let's think through it. The first question which we can ask is about the time. Since we are asked to estimate the number of airplanes that are flying in the sky at this point in time, then it is very critical to clarify about the time because there can be peak hours or non-peak hours as well. So what point of time does the interviewer is interested in? Let's assume that he wants us to calculate during the peak hours. The second question which we can ask is about the geography. Are we thinking about the airplanes flying across the globe or above any particular geography? Let's assume that the interviewer wants us to calculate airplanes flying over India. The final question which we can ask is about the categories. Basically, the airplanes which we are trying to calculate are passenger planes or cargo planes or do we have to think about domestic flights or international flights are also included. So these are very important questions which we have to clarify before jumping onto the solution. So let's assume that the interviewer wants us to calculate only domestic passenger flights. Now that we have quite an idea about the question, it is time to form a goal of the problem. So the goal of the problem is to estimate the number of domestic passenger flights that are flying at a peak time over India. So are you able to get it why we have asked so many clarifying questions? It, it has given us the sense of understanding what is being asked in an interview question. So how do we think about estimating the problem? Before jumping into the solution, I want to explain you something. Listen very carefully. Suppose India has a maximum duration of flight that is of 3 hours. And here in this example, we, we are only thinking about the flight that is of 3 hours. I am repeating that. Here we are only thinking about the flight that is of 3 hours. So at this point of time, 10 am, all the flights that have taken off after 7 am will be in air, right? All the flights which have taken off after 7 a.m. will be in air at 10 a.m. Because these are, all these flights are of 3 hours journey. So they will land after 10 a.m. So all these flights will be in air at 10 a.m. You have to understand this concept. Suppose if we were to thinking about only one hour flight. In that case, all the flights that have taken off after 9 a.m. will be in air at 10 a.m. Because the flights that have taken off at 7 a.m. will be landing somewhere around 8 a.m. Right? So... This is the concept of this problem. So if we have to simplify this problem, we can assume that all the flights in India are of average length of two hours. This is an assumption because some of the flights will be of one hour, some will be of three hours. But to simplify things, we can assume that on an average, the domestic flights in India are of the two hour length. So the number of airplanes at any point in time equal to the number of airplanes that have taken off at some point in time in the past and have not landed yet. This will be the main equation of this problem. So let's start with the high level equation and walk through of the solution. There are around 90 operational airports in India. Out of these, let's assume that 10 are mega airports which have around 3 runway or 3 airstrips on average. 30 of them are mid-size airport. On an average, they have around 2 runways. And 50 of them are mini airports. They have around 1 runway. On mega airports, at busy hour, we can assume that on average, every 5 minutes a plane takes off or lands. So roughly every 5 minutes a flight takes off or lands at a mega airport. So how many flights will take off or land in one hour? That will be 10 multiplied by 60 divided by 5 multiplied by 3. So let me explain this equation. There are, there are around 10 airports, 60 divided by because every 5 minutes a flight will land or take off. So in an hour, it will be around 60 divided by 5. And since there are 3 runways, so multiply by 3. This will give around 360 flights that take off or land in an hour on a mega airport. Similarly, on mid-size airport and mini airport, we can do the similar kind of calculation. So now we have to calculate it in two hours because we have taken an assumption that every flight in India is of roughly of average length of two hours, right? So in two hours, we would be having close to 1,280 flights that have take off and lands in two hours at a peak time. Now we have to divide it by two. Why? Because we have to calculate the flight that have take off, not land. So we are assuming that number of flights that, that has been taken off or land are roughly the same. So we are dividing it by two. This will give around 640 flight in air at the peak time. It will also be the maximum number of flights that will be in here over India because we are here calculating at the peak time. I hope you have learned something new from this video. If you have any doubt, please do comment in the comment section below. We'll try to answer your queries. Also, please subscribe to our channel or you can book a slot with us for any mock interview. Till then, keep learning and keep watching.